In this video, we're going to be putting GPT-4 to the test and more precisely, putting its creative coding skills to the test. We will be using the p5.js library to push GPT-4 to its boundaries. Now, p5.js is used to create interactive visuals and code in the web browser. Now, I have done this video previously with ChatGPT-3 and the results were, let's say, not great and you can check it out right here. However, in this video, you can expect... That's, 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 that's my job gone. <gasps> wow, whoa, what? Something much better. So let's get started. I also highly suggest that you subscribe to this channel. Now in the previous video, the first command I gave ChatGPT3 was to create a sunset in p5.js. So I'm going to do the exact same thing for GPT4. So I'll say code a sunset in p5.js. Now I'm really curious how creative it's actually going to get. So let's wait for the output and then let's test it in our web editor playground. Now what's happening here already looks great. I mean, we're definitely getting much more input than we did before. Uh, previously, some of the p5.js code that I did with ChatGPT3 actually produced some syntax errors. Uh, we're going to see if this actually does produce any errors at all, or if it's uh, going to be really great. I am super eager to see, but it's looking great so far. It has produced an HTML file for us where it actually imports the library. We don't need that because we're using the playground. So I'm actually just going to copy this JavaScript code. Now let's jump into our web editor. Let's paste it in. Let's run it. Okay, that is, that is definitely much better than before. <laughs> we actually have a gradient. We actually have a moving sun. We didn't have to give it extra prompts to actually move the sun. Although it does seem that it's moving in the wrong direction. As you can imagine, I wasn't too satisfied here. This wasn't the result I was expecting. So I went back to GPT-4 and I decided to give it a much bigger input, which was this. And the result that it actually produced was that. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I... I I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. You can see for yourself. That's right. I was really, really impressed. So I wanted to see how far I can take this. The one I did previously, which a lot of people commented, was to create a tree in p5.js. So I'm going to say code a tree in p5.js. Very simple command. Let's see what it comes up with. I like how it's uh, leaving comments as well. Brown color for the trunk. That's quite interesting. I have never seen that before. That's looking much more advanced. That's not just two simple uh, rectangles that <laughs> they produced previously. Sorry, previously produced a rectangle and a circle. Recursive tree using a simple branching structure. So it's using recursion as well. So let's copy this code. Let's paste it in and let's run it. <gasps> wow, what? Wow, it actually did a tree that looks like a tree. That is so impressive. What? That is so impressive that it, it created the little leaves and it colored them and it actually created branches and wow, it, it's great. That is so much better than last time. Okay, um, I am so curious if I ask it to uh, make the tree uh, move uh, because of uh, the wind. So let's say uh, improve the code to make the tree move because of the wind and make the whole thing more realistic. That's interesting because here we're asking it to provide movement to the generated uh, shapes that it already has. Uh, and then of course, we're also asking it uh, to add a little bit of realism. So to make maybe add shadows or gradients. I, I don't know what it's going to come up with, but it actually created a variable for wind force, which is, <laughs> it's a quite interesting, okay. I, I don't even know what to say. I am so shocked by the possibilities here and the capabilities of GPT-4 in producing this content that when it comes to any type of creative web dev, this is really changing things for us as developers. This is really making things much easier and uh, allowing us to produce content that's of high quality uh, much faster. It's going to be an absolute revolution. Uh, this is definitely a revolution in the works and I'm super excited to see how people actually use it. Okay, so we have the code. So let's just copy it. Let's paste it. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, don't disappoint me. Wow. And it's, and it's changing, it's going 
Whoa, what? Wow, it's changing the force of the wind and it's reacting to the force of the wind to actually the trajectory the branches take and it's changing the direction of the wind. This is incredible. This is incredible. I I am shocked. I am, sh I am genuinely shocked. Like, I came into this video thinking it's gonna be good. It's much better than that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to add to this because now I think we, we are getting somewhere. Let me give it an extra prompt. Add more code to make it rain and produce thunder. Okay, that's, 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 that's my job gone, essentially. <laughs> No more, no more creative web developer jobs, especially people who work with p5.js. That's just not gonna be there anymore. Uh, let me copy all of this and we run it. What? What? No way! No freaking way, man! That is insane! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? 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 Incredible! Oh my goodness! If I tell it to add more trees, it's gonna add more trees. Um, add more trees to uh, add more trees. I'm just gonna say add more trees. Let's run it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we seem to have broken it a little bit. It just multiplied the trees this time and changed the the the, the raindrops to only a section of it. But I think we can kind of wrap this example up by saying it did an absolutely fantastic job and I'm really, really impressed. I want to do one more test. I want to put it to one more test and then we're gonna wrap up the video. So let's delete it, let's stop this animation and let's create a new chat with GPT-4. Code. Okay, let my creativity flourish. What do I want to see coded in p5.js? Well, I want to see uh, the game Snake and make sure it's fully uh, functional and playable in p5.js. Let's go! If this is able to code a whole snake game without no issue that I can actually play, I quit. And somewhat inside, I feel like it's actually going to be able to do it. <laughs> I really feel like it's going to be able to do it. Oh my God, is this the one new way to keep yourself entertained? Just ask GPT-4 to code your game and then play it. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, it's actually doing the key commands. It's actually doing the key commands. No way. <laughs> this is so exciting. Okay, 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 we're copying it. We're copying it. I am so excited, okay. <sighs> okay, let's play. Oh my god, no freaking way! No freak- Oh my god! No, wait, how do I restart? Okay, wait, let's play it again. No way it did that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it did not! It didn't- wait, I'm stuck too excited to play the game! What? No, it did not! Oh my god, you're kidding me, you're kidding me, that is- it actually created snake just like that. No freaking way. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. It, I mean, look, look at it. It, it. it works flawlessly. It just works flawlessly. I... I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I'm speech. I'm gonna let it die because... Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I'm just, I'm just too excited now. I, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let you guys digest that. <coughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are as excited as me to see how amazingly this performs. It's uh, absolutely mind blowing. Uh, leave your comments down in the description to ask me to produce more of this stuff. I'd love to get some examples from you guys. Make sure to subscribe to stay in tune with other cool content like this and I will see you in the next video. Bye.